welcome back. And if you're new here, my name is Alicia and I run a ceramics business by the name of Alicia Ceramics. Throughout this video, I'll be showing you my process on how I make my little ceramic figurines. And I thought it would be a cute idea that while you guys can see how I do everything, I can do a little story time so you guys can know a little bit about me. So I decided to talk a little bit about my high school experience. So I started ceramics in high school and I decided to tell you the story. It's probably one of my most embarrassing stories from high school, but it has a little bit to do with ceramics. So we're going to use that one for this video. I was about two months from graduating a senior in high school and I had a few study halls. So I would usually go there to work on my um, ceramic pieces when I had like extra time or I didn't have homework or anything to study for during my normal study halls. I finished everything early and I was so excited and I decided to put my head down on one of the tables to take a quick little nap. I, we have like about 45 minutes for the class. I was like, okay, that'd be great. I barely slept last night. So I start zoning out and I fall asleep. And then out of nowhere, I hear a loud, huge, like, huge noise and it jolts me up. And I wake up, you know, drool on my face and I'm like, what was that? And like the room is silent. And I'm like, oh my God, I was like, did we just have an earthquake? That's what I assumed because I got woke up by such a loud noise. And I'm looking around and then I hear a few giggles around the room and I'm so confused and I don't know. And I'm like, maybe, maybe it was like thunder or something. Like, I'm like, what's so funny? And then this like, oh, I can remember it like it was yesterday. This kid in the class, he's like giggling or whatever and he yells he's like oh you ripped ass and i was like what and he's like yeah you ripped ass and so i guess i fell asleep and i farted so loud that it woke me up and i thought it was an earthquake and thankfully that wasn't my normal class that was just a study hall i go to but let me tell you the shame and embarrassment i had literally right when the bell rang i called my mom and i was like mom i need i can't i can't do this i need to not be here right now <laughs> like maybe we were to homeschool for the last two months i don't know that's a possibility that's a move we could decide to make and she told me to calm down like no one's gonna think about it like after a day no one cares or whatever and thankfully i didn't go back to that study hall or i didn't go back to that class on that period anymore because i only had about two months left but literally i like swear to god i couldn't live it down i was like oh my god every time i see these people in this class in the hallways they're gonna be like oh my god this girl ripped ass so loud she really thought the world was shaking and and yeah that's my <laughs> that's my cute little beautiful story from um high school when i would always go to my ceramic class until i guess i ripped ass and then i would only go when i was supposed to go <laughs> I like really hope I'm not the only one that has stories like that like I, I swear I have them lined up because you always remember like the craziest things or the most embarrassing embarrassing things that happen to you if you guys have anything to make me feel a little bit better any story please leave a comment I would love to hear it so um I have an ally with me to be like it's okay you're not the only one who who does silly things or farts yourself awake <laughs> but anyways um back to i guess the process video now that we did a little story okay i hope you guys are like comfortable and feel more relaxed now after that little story time so i can explain a little bit of the process so basically from what i can see um i'm getting the glazing done right now and oh my god i remember i shot this and it was i believe 8 a.m and uh in case you don't know i have a newborn so i tend to only get to work at night when she's sleeping so i worked so i worked from i worked from i think it was 10 p.m to 8 a.m and i was so 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 tired right now like the sun's starting to come up and that's why like i still have my light on because it was nighttime before and i'm just like okay let me organize everything so i know where i have to be when i wake up back again i think i ended up i went to bed at like eight and maybe woke up at like not that long because uh, she had to get up so maybe this was like three or four hours later and i noticed i just have a few more things to do i just have like facial features i think for the most part and a few touch-ups 
I usually leave the touch-ups and anything to do with the face for the last part. Like for this one, I think I noticed that it needed a bit more blue on the bottom. So I added a bit more real quick and got ready to put it in the kiln. These ceramic pieces, I won't show it, but they I take three days to fire in total. The first fire is about seven and a half hours, I believe, and then it takes about eight to ten hours to cool down. The second one is about eight hours, and it takes about, usually for me, like ten to twelve hours to cool down. And then the final fire is the fire I do the luster, which is the gold. And that one's really quick. I can usually do it on the same day of the last fire. It takes three hours to do. And then three to about five hours to cool down. So you, usually it's about three days in total, though. Because everything takes so much time. And I don't show that in that video, but that's happening in the background. So once I did get everything finished and ready to go in the kiln, like all these are ready to go in the kiln, it took three days to finally actually get to this stage. And yeah, and then they're done. And then I really upped my packaging game, which I was so excited about. I finally felt like I have enough orders to buy in bulk. Usually I'm a bit nervous about spending that much money on packaging. And I think I spent a few hundred dollars in total on boxes and stickers and, and packaging peanuts. But I was like, oh my god, these look so cute. And I was, I'm so excited for everyone to get them. Um, as of this video being made, everything has been shipped out. Here's a cute little extra video of my little helper helping me get the last little pieces of orders done. Yep, and that's the end of the video. And I just wanted to add this little clip of me thinking I was taking a photo, but in actuality, I was taking a video and I come back to the camera like, oh, how does this photo look? But anyways, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and like the video. Till next time.